Hello everybody and welcome to the Grim Review. Oh guys, this this is gonna be fun because uh all the weekend I saw uh Captain America Civil War, so this is my review on the movie. I'm not gonna nitpick on this one because actually this one was pretty good. It was actually good. I mean wow. As one of the, this is the second Captain America movie I watched. I didn't watch Winter Soldier. I didn't think it was going to be worth it. Plus, I'm not doing the whole Bucky Captain America thing. It was apparent that it was stupid. Um, but I will touch on this, guys. Uh, good fight all around. They also introduced the Black Panther and Spider-Man. Uh, they almost tried to make Black Panther unstoppable in this movie to make his movie hyped up. I'm not hyped for his movie. I don't like his movie. I don't like... I just flat out don't like uh, Black Panther, period. He's cocky. He's ignorant. You know, he's all of the above. They also brought in Baron, Mon Baron Zemo in here. Without the mask and the purple suit. He used his mind to defeat Captain America and Iron Man. But I'm not going to tell you, give you too much spoilers. Because, uh, you know. Everybody's talking about that stupid airport scene. Oh my god. Oh big freaking deal. That wasn't a good fight. Oh my god! Somebody used their powers for the first time! Wasn't like it hasn't been done before. It's pretty much messed up. But it goes on after that that, uh, doesn't show the fight scene for very long, maybe a few minutes into the movie. And then it's back to Captain America, Winter Bucky, and Iron Man. I'm going to say poor Rhodey on that part. On one point. Completely visions fought. Uh, oh, powered. Oh, I'm going to play one thing, man. Visions OP. Even more OP than the Hulk. But, uh, yeah. I also blame, uh, well, I really don't blame Bird Boy for that. You'll know who I'm talking about when you watch the movie. I ain't gonna give away no more. Uh, if you've seen the commercials, then you already know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, Marvel's been hitting with, uh, movies here lately. DC, on the other hand, I also watched Superman and versus Batman. Don't ask how I got a hold of uh, how I watched it. Except, I'll go into spoilers because actually nobody really cares. Neither one of them win. Batman nearly beats the shoe monkeys out of uh, Superman. Not going to tell you which part. Or how close to the end that was. Ben Affleck. You suck as Batman. Done. Superman. Dude, play Superman. You suck. They should have been CG. The entire thing should have been CG. The guy who played Lex Luthor, on the other hand. Why isn't he bald? And why is he a skinny little prick? Uh, I should say the same thing about Supergirl. Why is Jimmy Olsen a black guy? Apparently no answer. Um, but yeah. Other than that, the Captain America Civil War beats Batman, Superman any day of the week. They were brought at the same time. Batman vs. Superman won as many as much money as it did. Even though people only watched to be curious.
So, Batman vs. Superman, 3 out of 5. I'm only giving it 3 out of 5 because of the title. Not because of the acting. The acting sucked. I don't expect much out of DC. Oh, their TV shows are doing great, though. For some reason, people like seeing... The Arrow's the best one, in my opinion, if you want to see the TV shows. Arrow is, uh, got all of them beat. Uh, including the Flash sucks, and the Supergirl sucks, and in my opinion. Uh, I'll take with what you will. But the bat, but the Captain America Civil War, oh man, that was up there. I did like the fight scene that everybody likes talking about. Oh my god, this is a scene between superheroes. Man. They make it so freaking, they hype up Black Panther in this movie so much. They even get the little cuts, the little scenes that Spider-Man appeared in. That was awesome. That's all I'm saying. Spider-Man was more awesome than Black Panther could ever thought to be. I can't wait to see the new Spider-Man movies because of that. Dude's got the Spider-Man attitude, his little chitty chatty in his little mouth. Which is awesome. I like that about Spider-Man. I always have. Well, give me the Spider-Man comic books? No. This, I don't like how they're portraying Spider-Man in this new comic book. All uppity web swinger with... It's just bull crap. I don't also... I, I can't tell you. I'll go into, I'm not going to go into details how much I despise my Morales. Because I've seen the Ultimate Spider-Mans before him, and that Peter Parker was better than Miles will ever be. Miles away from Miles. Miles ahead of Miles. But uh, let's get off that subject. Such subject because people think he's, cause I don't like him because he's black. No, I don't like him because he's a stupid, lame superhero that people only started liking because he was different. He's not different. He's a Spider Woman wannabe. The only thing is, he can't fly. She can. Okay. With that said, Captain America Civil War gets a 4 out of 5. I'm not giving it a perfect score by no means. Uh, you get, I don't like the Ant Man, and I don't like Black Panther. They wouldn't have hyped up Black Panther so much. Maybe it would have been different. They wouldn't uh, if they would actually put Hank Penn in there. It would have been different, but they didn't. They put fake wannabe Ant Man and Black Panther. Oh well, you know. But uh, I guess. Good luck. Good night. God bless.